Hello, this is Palico Padge and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with mods. We are currently playing with the man with no name. name. Okay, okay. Hefe. I'm not saying Jeff. Hefe. It's Hefe. And we are on Expedition 4 of 6 and we did tremendously well in the last episode. It could have gone either way. We lost a warrior, we gained a warrior. The same warrior, no less. She knew she was onto a good thing with us and she came crawling back. They always come crawling back. And we managed to take a lot of gold and valuables in general back with us. So we got good amounts of money. We are way ahead on the old fame tutorial. We are almost 400 fame ahead of our nearest competitor. And this time around, we get to choose from the Golden Arctic, the Valley of Drylands, or the Malicious Desert. And after looking at everything, I think the Golden Arctic is the way to go. We've got three temples. We've got two ways of getting around rather quick around the map. We've only got the one village, which is fine. But uh, hey, it, it, we get a new land bonus as well, which is tip top. So uh, let's go get cold, shall we? After rising at the break of dawn, I arrived at the harbour. The captain had yet to arrive, so I imagined what my visage would look like on the society statue. The woman searching for her missing husband arrived at the docks. She was overjoyed as she laid eyes upon her beloved. They embraced passionately, crying tears of relief. I could not help but think that Nathaniel Frederick Atke acted peculiar, grabbing and holding his wife a bit too hard, almost strangling her in the process. Hey, I guess that he's, you know, stuck in that camp all by himself. All he had to keep him occupied was a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey. So, who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? I sincerely hoped for the best of them. Cool. Give me money. I attain new funds as remuneration for our efforts. I still can't say that word. A scientist approached me this morning with a request. He told me about a mysterious box that was buried somewhere in the area we were travelling to. He promised to reward us generously if we brought it back to him. And nope, not interested. I ignored his plea. I would not get my hands dirty. No, no, no. I was proud to see the stories of my exploits had lured all manner of intrigued personalities. I was approached by several capable persons that were eager for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? So... We've got Jeremiah Edwin, the assistant, Anupam Shah, the trader, or Tim Timster and Lewis. Uh, we'll have a quick look, although I'm pretty happy with our setup at the moment. I mean, what was the extra die we got? What's the expert die? Oh, look at that. It's got one of everything. Well, that's pretty funky. Uh, right, so we've got uh, yeah, Anupam Shah, the trader, who I generally do like. I don't know if I like them enough to be able to give up what we got. Uh, Jeremiah Edwin, the assistant, nothing wrong with them. I'm not a big fan of the perk which comes with the assistance. And we've got some blue dye anyway, he says. You know what? This this team has worked from the start. Let's not mess. Let's not mess. At long last, the vessel is ready for departure. Well, let's buy some stuff then. So, what do we want? Uh, well, we definitely want dynamite. We're going to need the snowshoes. Uh, we'll probably take the, the, uh, the rope... That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, bacon? Why not? Why not? We've got the campsite. Torches we're fine for. Is there anything to actually cut down? I don't think there is, is there? Uh, we uh, should probably buy the bullets. Do I want the costume flares? I mean, it lets us see a little bit further. If we've got an inkling of where stuff might be. Although we do have a few teeth. And we've got horn flutes if anything just pop out at us. You know what? I think that's good. That's going to take up what? Five fresh spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So we've still got a few available to us. And we will be trading stuff out as and when we go anyway. So yeah, that'll do. At long last, the vessel was ready to set sail. Let's do it then. I mean, it gives us a bit of money as well next time around. If we... Have a bad expedition, which I'm, I'm fearing we probably will this time. Uh, we are on a... Is it a four-region map still? Is anything going to peak above? I don't like pulling in this if we have to. Oh, it's a six-region map. Oh! That's rather far away. I was deeply absorbed in my studies about this area as one of the crew la called Land Ahoy. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. Is there anything we don't need? Which would bring him with us? I mean... I don't suppose... Well, we can use the blue mushrooms as we go. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're just going to crack on. Where's the other one then? Oh, there. Oh. Well, that's a good way of covering half the map. Just to get an inkling what's going on. Cloudy is up there. I mean, should we get Sobertug up there as well? We might get an extra die. 
or not. But that's all right. That'll do. Why not? Hmm. Right, let's crack on in, I guess. Uh, 27, 24. I don't want to use up stuff if I don't need to. Oh, we found a strawberry. And we have a cave. We approached a cave. Its opening seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We required a torch to explore its secrets. Oh, we lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at the chamber. It obviously served as some kind of ceremonial tomb. Within were mummified corpses. Well, let's have a look-see. May the mummies would surely turn to dust if they were touched, and not of any intrinsic value. However, after a thorough investigation, one was found to have a solid titty suitable for transport. Take it. And uh, back we go. Not carrying that thing around to go off in our pockets. No, no, no. All right, let's drop you off straight away. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, we will rest, though. Uh, I awoke soaked in sweat from a nightmare. I dreamt that Carol had returned, but her face had melted like hot wax, and she demanded to know why I'd led her into in insanity. I still shiver writing these lines. Hey, you dumped us, and you in your homeland. So it's not like I, could, I had to feel bad over that. That was your choice. I'm more of a free choice, and that was yours. Stop it. Uh, rest again. The mood was buoyant, so I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. Sobertug started singing in a foreign tongue. While the melody was initially a little difficult to follow, we soon simmered down and looked upon the fire as the singing soothed our minds. Sounds beautiful. Are we good? We're done. Alright, so. 45. Oh, because we can pass through the cave. Let's do it. It's half our sanity, but what the hell? I can't see any scary-looking red. Oh, we found a bullet as well. Oh, there's a temple. Well, that's not that bad. Is that a, a written-off region? You know what? I think now is the time to use a mushroom. I would hazard a guess to say that that is a dead region, which is good for us. We can always get the dogs back once we've explored up top, and we get to see how we get up there by using the dogs now. And it just makes a lot of sense. Uh, the man greeting me at station's entrance had wild eyes and odd scars around his neck when he greeted me. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. There was one look of deep despair when he greeted me. Then it was gone. A strange man, but very hospitable. Blah, 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 blah. Hospitable. Very, very true. He, he greeted us three times, which is superb. Uh, we will trade. Oh, he's got medikits. Well, I don't think we're going to need 15 tickets. Seven tickets would be great, along with the medikits. Do you like bacon, sir? Not particularly. I trust you like teeth. Everyone likes teeth. Teeth and a rope. Do I want anything else? I mean, we, we've got no snowshoes now. I mean, what would you want for that? I mean, what would I, what would I do for that? I don't... I mean, you can have the blue mushroom. I'm not too fussed by the blue mushroom. Or some torches, maybe. Yeah, we're not really getting close here, are we? Don't we want to use the bullet? No. What about if we just had nine to fit us back up? I had these back. No, oh, he's got off that rope. He's not giving up that rope. That's fine. Nine will do. It's more important to get the medikit to that point. All right, so we're not going to worry about resting just yet. We shall use the dog sled. I thought he was joking at first, but the man once again started to mutter about tickets. Apparently, these tickets would buy me passage with his sled. Was he a conductor? How did a conductor get here? He offered me to travel to the following location. It's only the one. It's always called the same. Let's do it. Oh, as it turns out, oh, oh, oh dear. This is a very rocky one. Very rocky indeed. Oh. 
you know what that's that was that was pretty damn good that was pretty damn good let's visit the station so let's see what is in this one more medikits we haven't really got anything to trade at this point does he like tickets still not enough to give me anything see he bangs on about tickets but he doesn't like tickets that much does he bastard that's all right uh, let us rest. Sleeping here was such a fortunate break from roughing it in the snow. I could see him go to sleep with the dogs. That's fine. 30. Uh, we'll do it again. Out of the corners of my eye, I saw some things go away in the shadows. That's all right. All right, let's go exploring, I guess. Um, let's move to there. That's as far as we can go in one foul swoop. Oh, that's written off as well. That's good. Very good. Uh, and we shall use the uh, the mushroom. Because once we're down, we're down. 53. To get there. Let's do it. Oh, an abandoned camp. That would be useful on the way back. Oh! It would appear that we have... A buried pyramid. We encroached upon an enigmatic structure. It seemed to be the top of a golden pyramid, but for some reason its main body was hidden below the earth. Its golden surface was etched with all manner of beautiful symbols, some of which formed a kind of map. After a period of analysis, we could successfully comprehend the map. We agreed that it showed some locations in this region. Maybe visiting them was necessary to unearth the golden pyramid. Just the one? In the midst of the map? about right in it all right okay so it looks like we're going down in that direction um let us mm, let's, let's just not do that we need bacon lots and lots of bacon and a couple of strawberries to boot we're going to explore this camp there might be something here we can take with us i approached an abandoned campsite i found attempts to dig holes then i started digging myself under the snow cover, I found their grisly remains, a group of natives, torn to pieces by some animal. I took the time to give the dead a proper burial. This area was marked heavily by animal tracks. I had to keep moving or end at someone's dinner. My instinct said we would find something of value here. We spread out and searched the area. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. A map, of course, of course. Uh, we, I'm not that first in all fairness. Uh, as we left, we became aware of our presence. <laughs> A giant walrus. One giant walrus. I mean, why not? Why not? It's only got 22 health. I'm sure we'll be fine. How many dice does it have? Two. Right, so we're probably best stunning at least one of those die to start. We could do a headshot. Let us roll. We could do some more blue dye in all fairness. If I could do a couple of stuns, we'd be sorted. At this point, I think we just need to defense it up. Evade for three. Yeah, hold on to you. Stable position, so five, and a little bit of a kick in the nuts for it. I mean, we could use this. It's probably not worth it at the moment. That worked. So. What do we want to do here? We want you and... Stable position. Or just going for the repost. That'll work. You and you we shall hold on to. Or again. Get our headshot in. And now we just... Oh, who fits? Two! Tactical advantage? I mean, I think we should just go for the kill at this point. Uh, let us throw in a couple more light ones. That'll do. Looted it. And 
we get to cook some meat. That works out just fine by me. Right, let's go down to here. Just so we get to see where we need to go. 29 to get over to there. If the war was to tax us, then so be it. Uh, stone circle. I don't feel the need to hit the stone circle. We've got some more meat to eat yet. And a strawberry to finish off. Gotta have your pudding. Gotta have your pudding. Oh, it's a village. Are they okay with us? They were right. We arrived at a native village. We were not the only visitors to this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beastmaster displayed a few mysteriously covered crates. Uh, the natives observed us with curiosity. They were polite and offered to help our cause. That's fine. I don't think we actually need them to rest. We've got enough foodstuffs and way of getting sanity to not be too fussed by that. Uh, we will, however, see what they have to trade. Not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, we could use the drums for sanity. And we could take Mama's sticky ribs. I mean, what what would you want for this? Can I have some ribs? Oh no, they like their ribs. They like their ribs. I like the jewels. Jewels work out fine for me. I don't think I need anything else. No. That'll do. And uh, we'll leave. We packed up the trek and sallied forth as new adventures could be waiting over the next ridge. Sobertook stayed behind for a while as she had more business to attend to with the villagers. However, she caught up with the trek not longer after we had left. Cool. Um, wah, 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 wah. Let's uh, get up to here. Let's see what this is. It be a cave. It be a cave. And seeing as we're not under any pressure at the moment we shall set up our campsite i think and uh let's enter the camp oh it was rather cold night as we rested by the fireplace yes certainly this was one of my more whimsical adventures that i would tell my friends over tea maybe but for now it was crucial nay imperative to find the purple turtles indeed i'm all for finding purple turtles Uh, we shall rest again. As usual, I walked the area of the camp to ensure that no poisonous animals were in sight. While doing so, I wondered if, if I'd be able to anticipate the manner of location by its surrounding terrain. For example, it seemed that villages were always close to water. Oh. Uh, do I do it again? No. We're good. We will, however, play those drums. And then explore... Oh, no, 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 no. Pack up the camp. There we go. And then we shall explore the cave. We located a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deeper to the mountain. We needed a torch to uncover its mysteries. Oh. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We were intrigued to discover this was just the beginning of a subterranean route. Well, let's have a look. See where it goes. Who knows? Where it goes. We explored vast caverns and twisted corridors. The hint of sunlight in the distance gave us hope. Well, that's mighty, mighty useful. That is mighty, mighty useful. Let's go get this out of the way first, I suppose. We approached a seemingly ancient structure that seemed to be partially made out of pure gold. We discovered a mechanism of sorts on one of the sides. With some effort, we would hopefully be able to trigger it. However, that would what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. After much toil, we were adept enough to activate the unusual mechanism. All of a sudden, an enormous column of light rose from the seal. Ha uh ha! -huh. Oh, got two things on there now. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, we're doing okay. Do we we'll play the drums? That's for sure. Uh, let's let's have a look around. Why not? I mean, we're not too fast. Fun. Finishing first, are we? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Uh, let's get there. Right, at this point, I think we'll set up the camp again. 
and enter said camp. Rest it up. There was no natural quietness to the night as we rested by the fireplace. Cloudy Maisnet made a nasty comment about my capabilities as the spearhead of this trek and my absence of empathy. I would much better fit leading a group of monkeys. That's a bit cruel, isn't it? Everyone loves me, so she gets a, a kick in. I confronted Cloudy Maisnet and let her know that I would not tolerate such derogatory behaviour. It was clear that she was humiliated by my view. Oh, yes. All right, rest again. The mood was buoyant as I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. All this travelling led us to inherently know each other's perks, habits and foibles. We discussed our different childhoods, which awarded me a greater appreciation of my team. So back up. Tippity top. Right, let's back up. Nothing's on fire, which is always good to know. Um, I don't know where to go this side of the shrine now. And we'll head up to here first. Excuse me a second. Cough, cough, cough. Right, so. Let's see what's in here. I finally came through a haze of snow and saw a dark structure before us. Dread filled me when we ascended the steps. I felt as if dark tendrils were reaching out of the shrine and probing my mind. The surface about the structure gave off heat. It was still possible to walk there, but the potential source of this heat was disconcerting. I looked downwards and saw a mass of tendrils reaching up from below. Most were calcified, one was still twitching. My mind was reeling in this room. Placed on the altar was a small worm-like creature, writhing, feeling around with its tendrils. I pushed it aside brusquely, and uh, we shall take all of it. I would not leave empty-handed, the treasure was to be mine. The moment we attained the earth began to rumble. Or we attained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We fled as fast as we could as the shrine collapsed before our very eyes and a volcano began to rise, spitting fire and oozing lava. Oh, all in the directions we're not too fussed about, which is great. Uh, I've got a feeling this might be a um, spring. That is my guess on this one. So I don't mind taking the hit. Do I? No, I don't. That's fine. Sweet. Our trek ceased at, uh, ceased at natural hot springs. Oh, before we do this, uh, I am I am going to eat a little bit of chocolate and play the drums. And that way we shouldn't have such a bad hit on here. I instructed the trick to halt and catch our breath. That night something fell to miss as we sat and stared into the fire. Our group was growing tense and a discussion between, between Sabotag and Claudia, Claudia Maisonette escalated into a vicious argument. A moment later the pair were exchanging blows and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. We can calm people with chocolate? It's only 20 sanity. Let's do that. I intervened, issuing cho extra chocolate rations, and the troop settled down. Suffice to say, in the end, we were just happy that they did not kill each other. I concur. Uh, we shall rest again. It was a beautiful night and everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. So we took explored the area around our camp. She came back some hours later with an arrogant smirk on her face. In her hands, he held the gorged meat from some poor animal. I was unable to tell which animal the meat was from, but it was probably better to plead ignorance. Cloudy Maisonette was excited about preparing the new food forthwith. See, everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. All right. So we are two tickets overburdened. Two tickets, two bits overburdened. Uh, we are full on the old sanitate, so we might need to drop some stuff. Or we hoof it all the way and deal with it afterwards. That sounds like a better idea. Right, so let's explore the cave first. What you got? Uh, ooh, uh, we arrived at a remarkable underground lake. The water seemed rich with algae, sustaining the growth of vegetation. Primarily many colourful mushrooms. If we were to invest a little time, we would surely be able to collect some of them. Let's do it. Oh, boo. I was hoping for some green mushrooms so we could sort out our cook. But, hey-ho, never mind. Uh, we shall... Is anyone injured? Nobody's injured anyway. We know where we're going, so yeah. Do we need it? Probably not. 
We'll take them anyway, why not? So let's cook these up. We can eat those straight away. We can eat the chocolate. We can play the drums. Two items overbird on. If I drop the mushrooms, the red mushrooms, and we dismount Mr. Clock, we're good to go. On to the next. Oh, and we found a strawberry. Oh, and that was fake. Poo. All right, well, can we get up if we eat the strawberry? We can. Uh, we will, however, because where are we going to pop out? We are going to pop out there. If we use a mushroom there, it should allow us to see what that question mark is. So let's, let's set the campsite up. We're going to take a hit. Even if we play the drums, we're going to take a hit. We'll play the drums anyway. Who knows? So let's enter the camp. Here we go. Some time ago, I conversed with Cloudy Maisonette about the civilised world and its abundance of pleasantries. I'm unsure if it was a good idea, since she seems to have become obsessed with this topic. All right. And we'll do it again. The team eagerly gathered wood for a fire. While it's Trev. Baby, don't hurt me. I was, I was teaching on whether to sing that or not then, and I stopped at the last second. What is fortitude? How would one measure one's forte? So we took up my philosophical musing quite literally and challenged me to a fist fight. Wow. Why not? Don't you mess with me. I'm the man with no name. She had no chance. I could see respect in her eyes. And we're pretty much up to scratch on that. So let's pack up the camp. Nothing's been terribly designed there so we're not going to set anything on fire or lose anything which is tip top and i think that is where we're going to call this episode when we get back we're going to get on top of here see what those question marks are if anything then we're going to have to mosey our way back up to the top and then back over to the plateau in order to get below here to hit that shrine see whatever that question mark is and get the bloody well out way out of here but hey that's going to be next time around. I'm sure things will happen between now and then. So, uh, well, let's let's just live it up whilst we can. We're just going to stay atop this mountain and enjoy the view. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.